This week's episode of Crappie USA is brought to you by The Best Tank. Check us out at thebesttank.com. Named after the 35th Vice President of the United States, beautiful Lake Barkley is a man-made reservoir that stretches over 58,000 acres across the Kentucky-Tennessee border. Lake Barkley is connected to the 160,000-acre Kentucky Lake by a canal, forming one of the nation's largest recreational complexes. Between Lake Barkley, Kentucky Lake, and the Tennessee and Cumberland River system that feeds them, our anglers have almost 300,000 acres of water to scour in search of crappie. There's $10,000 up for grabs in this year's competition, as well as a chance to qualify for the upcoming Best Pro Cabela's Crappie USA Classic in October. It's shaping up to be fierce competition this weekend, so welcome to Crappie USA, coming to you from beautiful Lake Barkley. Hi, I'm Robert Denon from uh, Youngstown, Ohio. So I'm, I'm Josh Levitt, and this is my partner, Sean Sawyers, and we're from Murray, Kentucky. I'm uh, Rick Johnston uh, from Benton, Kentucky. Philip Kidwell, Nicholsville, Kentucky. Gary Carpenter from Lancaster, Kentucky. Darren Isbell from Clarksville, Tennessee. I'm John Hicks. I'm Tim Harris from Georgia. Uh, my name's Tony Sheridan. This is Noxton Sheridan, my grandson. This is going to be his first tournament. Uh, the Mega Bucks, uh, we finished second. By seven hundredths of an ounce, we was pretty close, but we were still happy. And then uh, the first tournament we fished with y'all was the March tournament, uh, and uh, we won that one. Yeah, last year we won the amateur side national championship on Old Hickory Lake. So yeah, we did. We started out the morning spider rigging, and then and then in the afternoons we go hunting for a big fish. Uh, we're gonna start out live scoping single pole, uh, but we are set up to spider rig also. So. We're going to give them whatever they want, We'll whatever works. We spider rig a lot. We run a lot of double jigs. We've got a guy who lives here, custom makes jigs for us, different colors and stuff. Single pulling, you, you've got one rod, you've got one hook. We're running multiple jigs, multiple colors. That way we can figure out what they're wanting. Finding the fish has been the problem. We found a few fish, it's tough to get them to bite. A lot of them is not the crappie, it's the yellow bass. I think they're gonna be deep, so I think they're gonna be 20 feet or deeper and probably suspended around brush piles is where I'm thinking they're gonna be. But I am gonna sneak up tomorrow when the sun gets high and, and look for some shallow stuff and see if I can pull two or three out of the shallows. Today I went to Little Jonathan and I caught a keeper there, so that's where we're gonna start. Yeah, we'll be we'll be on Barkley somewhere. We got a few areas in there that we we got a plan to hit. So we're probably going to start out on the south end and then kind of move up. We're thinking we'll end up probably up around Eddyville somewhere. Probably on Barkley, somewhere north of 68 Bridge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We fish Kentucky quite a bit. We've got some waypoints to go to that we're going to try tomorrow. We haven't tried them this trip. We've been concentrating here on Barkley and figured we would try it harder than what we had been. So we're rolling the dice. We're going to go to Kentucky and see if we can pick up something. Today was a little slower. You know, temperature change, weather coming in, been a little slower, but the last few days have been pretty decent. It's going to be foggy and cold in the morning, so they're going to be slow, lethargic. It looks like it's going to be nice. I mean, the wind's died down. I mean, you know, last couple of days it's blown hard. Uh, but tomorrow and, and then Saturday's really supposed to be nice. So it makes it a lot easier. It's going to be cool, but, you know, with the sun out, it's not going to be that bad. We've had a lot of wind for practice, so I'm hoping that we don't have very much wind. Um, temperature's going to be in the 50s, 60s. So, I mean, it's better than snowing, <laughs> which we've seen that before. I uh, hope not as much wind as what we've had the last couple of days. I think it will be a little bit better. We're going to have some wind tomorrow, uh, but Friday looks or Saturday looks really good. I think it's it's going to be a pretty day. So we just got back from the Wachita River, and as far as uh, artificial lures, that's about the only thing that they would bite, and and uh, we'll use that in minutes while we were down there, and and yeah, that seems that seems to be something new. Trying different types of hair jigs. I've used hair jigs for a long time, but. You know, kind of branching out, tying our own, and testing stuff, seeing what works, what doesn't work. Yeah, we're going to keep the same things I've been doing. If we 
if I can find them um, holding tight to brush, I'll take a single pull out and see if I can, you know, isolate one or two. But right now I'm kind of just going to do the, the spider rig and, and see where we end up. We're one dimensional, like I said. We're <laughs> if they don't bite that way, we just stick with what with what we've been doing. Yeah. I, I think we're going to try a little bit of everything until we find out what works best for us. We used to be bad about getting stuck doing one thing, and we're trying to get away from that. We try to learn at every turn we go to. I mean, our opinion: you never get too old to learn. You can learn from a child all the way up to an adult. Hadn't been much to learn on this trip. <laughs> it's been tough. Whatever your fishing electronic, trolling motor, or shallow water anchor needs are, we carry them all. Garmin, Hummingbird, Dakota, Lawrence, Raptor, Powerpole. If you need mounts and accessories, well, we've got that too. And hey, if you need financing, we offer you two choices with a firm and catapult. We ship nationwide, and most orders in by 12 noon central, Monday through Friday, are shipped out the same day. Plus, free shipping on all orders over $500. The biggest reason to buy with the Bass Tank? No one, and I mean no one, beats our service and expertise before, during, and after the sale. We may sell fishing electronics, but make no mistake about it. We're in the customer service business. Ask around, and you'll know it's true. Buy with the Bass Tank today at thebasstank.com. Hey, you know, the main reason that these anglers are with us at Kentucky Barkley Lakes this weekend is not just that $10,000 in prize money, it's the opportunity to compete at the $125,000 Bass Pro Cabela's Crappie USA Classic, which will be held on Green River Lake, Kentucky at Columbia, Kentucky, uh, third weekend of October. Uh, lots of money up for grabs, a lot of good times are always had at these classics. So that's the main reason they're here. If you've already qualified for the event, get that registration in. We're making arrangements now for banquet numbers and everything, so it's always important to know you're coming. So get your registration in, and we'll look forward to seeing you on Green River Lake, Kentucky. Due to its massive size, there are a number of ways for anglers to tackle the various crappie fishing opportunities. Although our anglers can fish both Kentucky and Barkley Lakes, they're finding a lot of success focusing on Lake Barkley. J.R. Vaughn, Bill Snyder, uh, Murfreesboro, Smyrna, Tennessee area. Oh, this is Spider Rig here. Uh, we've got a couple poles out, a couple baits on each one. Uh, the bobbers here are just basically just floating around right now. We'll eventually go tight lighting to the bottom, which is what the two center poles are here. But uh, in this tournament, we're allowed to use eight poles. We only got six out of the ten. Yeah. It's called a double rig minor set. How many fish do you think you guys are gonna bring in today? Well, catch, we've already caught six. None of them has been keepers. So you know, we're just looking for the big ones. And that was off of just that brush pile behind you right there. So, you know, there's good numbers here. We just haven't found the big ones yet. You gotta check in seven as your ultimate goal, you know. Seven nice fish. Yesterday in pre-fishing, we was right over there and we had one literally come over the bow right here. <laughs> it was funny. About eight, 10 pounder come over the bow. I was like, man, I don't wanna get hit in the head with that. It'd be rough. That's Makes you wanna run your gun out here, just keep the Asian tire fall from you. <laughs> you guys plan on going over to Kentucky Lake or you just staying here? We were over there Tuesday, uh, fishing out of Big Sandy. It's a little rough over there when the wind picks up. Uh, I fished it for many years over there too, but we just came back here and decided we'd shoot, shoot it for here. We was over, I talked to a couple guys over there that were fishing, pulling uh, crankbaits and jigs over there, and they haven't did no good at all over there. That's what we've been treating you today. Pardon me? Think the wind bend today. This is great. 
I mean, you want a little chop on the water cause it re knocks that sun down off of their eyes and everything. So you're better with a little wind, but man, Tuesday and Wednesday was horrible wind, you know. I mean, you got wakes coming up on the nose of the boat here. It makes these little Columbia's get wet. <laughs> he had to put on his gear uh, just to keep from getting wet. Yeah, had to throw out oh, the uh, rain gear. <laughs> there you go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys, good luck. Yep. Day one on Lake Barkley and Kentucky Lake has proven to be a challenge for our competitors. Only the patient and most serious anglers will come out on top. We'll be right back with more of Crappie USA. Whatever brand of fishing electronics you're looking for, we carry them all. If you're also looking to buy from experts, you found the right place. But if you need financing, we got it. If you need nationwide free shipping, well, we have that too. But the biggest reason to buy with a Bass Tank? No one, and I mean no one, beats our service and expertise before, during, and after the sale. Buy with a Bass Tank today at thebasstank.com. Hey folks, Daryl Van Vector back with you, and guess who's joined me? Tim Fortner. Tim, good to see you, man. Good seeing you again, Daryl. Hey, it's uh, always fantastic to hang out. You know, we don't get a chance to work together very often because Tim's always off at some Cabela's King Cat event when we're running a crappie event. But uh, Tim is here with us today, uh, this weekend crappie event, so we wanted to take this opportunity and tell you a little bit about what's gonna happen in our 2021 season kicking off in December. The way that works, we'll have either four or five events within a geographic region. There'll be four of those regions. And after the four or five events take place within a region, we'll have a regional championship. That's a huge tournament in itself. Now let's talk about those uh, four or five events. Uh, one day events next year are gonna have a guaranteed payout, 10 grand. 10 grand. That's that, fantastic. That, that one size fits all on that. Yeah, you bet you. Uh, two day events next season, 25 grand. There again, huge increase in payback. Two day events right now, $10,000. Wow. So one day events are going to be at the 10 mark, two days at 25,000 mark. Huge increase in the payback alone at those events. Of course, the points event is the big news for next year. That's the thing that's gonna make a lot of people wanna travel all they can. The points division right now totals $13,000 that'll be paid off this year at the Classic. Nothing to sneeze at at all. Right, right. But next year, that goes to 50 grand. $50,000 up for grabs in the points division alone. It's gonna be a fantastic year. And one more thing I failed to mention, Tim, that Classic next year in 2021 at Lake Hartwell, South Carolina, Let's just take it up a notch too. Let's move it up to $165,000 wow. instead of 125. Wow. That's better, isn't it? I'll tell you that that's a whole lot better. And again, that, that that's that one size fits all. And, and if there's any uh, crappie angler out there that doesn't think that it fits them, I'll be more than happy to jump in and try it on. There you go, buddy. That's right. Okay. Join us on the trail. We'll see you there. Hi folks, this is Brian Fondalm with Easy Drift Trolling System. We're here from uh, Kentucky, uh, the western part of the state. Um, we're out here competing in the uh, Crop USA tournament. Um, it's been a slow go so far. The bite's tough. These fish, uh, there's plenty of bait in the, the lake for the fish and uh, they don't want to eat plastic. They're having a tough time eating our minnows too. So maybe we'll figure some kind of pattern out and bring in a good sack of fish in the weigh-in. You know, we're seeing huge balls of bait, and uh, you know, if, if a fish has his food right there in front of him all the time, why does he need to try to bite something that's artificial, or or uh, he, maybe he's just not hungry at the time, you know, so. Lots of times, you got structure like this. Uh, a lot of guys put out homemade structure. Um, a lot of guys, you know, find structure out in the lake made of 
uh, trees, fallen trees, what that does, that structure holds bait in return, you know, just like we do. We, uh, we like going to where the food's at. So the, the structure's bait holds the bait. It's security for the bait and your crappie tend to hang around that bait. So you find structures like this, all this is is a mile marker. And uh, we noticed it had some fish on it. So we thought we'd give it a shot and see what happens. We started out spider rigging. Um, with the rig, we weren't having no success. We come across this structure out here in the lake, about 20 foot of water. We reeled our spider rig system up. You guys trying it? Any... It's a good one, Kenny. And like I see, folks, you know, this fish is good and got a fat belly, so maybe we can get a few more of these in for you guys. Whatever your fishing electronic, trolling motor, or shallow water anchor needs are, we carry them all. Garmin, Hummingbird, Dakota, Lawrence, Raptor, Power Pole. If you need mounts and accessories, well, we've got that too. And hey, if you need financing, we offer you two choices with a firm and catapult. We ship nationwide, and most orders in by 12 noon central, Monday through Friday, are shipped out the same day. Plus, free shipping on all orders over $500. The biggest reason to buy with the Bass Tank? No one, and I mean no one, beats our service and expertise before, during, and after the sale. We may sell fishing electronics, but make no mistake about it, we're in the customer service business. Ask around and you'll know it's true. Buy with the Bass Tank today at thebasstank.com. Okay, folks, we're with you on North Barkley Lake, Kentucky. Uh, super event this weekend, two-day event. This is day one of the weigh-in. We've got some fish coming to the scale now. We appreciate all of you at home joining us. And uh, so let's, uh, let's don't wait any longer. We've got a team at the scale. Guys, who has your paperwork? Man, that's a nice box of fish. Team of Anderson and Johnston checking in. They're from Benton, Kentucky. Look at here, right off the bat, 988. You have the big fish guys? Yeah. We had a few teams check in early today, so we had uh, a couple of seven pound weights come in, I think. Had an 871 come in, 870 come in. Uh, so, boy, these guys have six. Good job, guys. Thank you. Let's uh, hold that up short to the crowd, and I'll want to get a picture of you. Now, let me get you right back here, guys. Give them a hand one more time, Anderson and Johnston. Good luck tomorrow, man. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, well, Scott. we had 988, and uh, pretty proud of that because it's been oh, really tough. tough. Yeah, it's been tough. Georgia. That's right. That's right. So we, Georgia team's already weighed in a bunch of fish. How you doing, guys? Oh, sure. you got them, Steve. Yeah, we got seven. I'm telling you, it's a good box of fish. A lot of days, that's... Look at here. 983. Good job, guys. You got the big fish. Five hundredths out of the lead on the Pro Division. What is big fish? Two big fish right now, 206. Two seconds two of 133. Three. Next team up from Cottontown, Tennessee, Dwayne Craig and Kyle Levering. They're checking in with 507 today. Dwayne just told me his partner, Kyle Levering, and his wife had been expecting. And Somehow they put the baby in front of the fishing tournament. We're gonna to have to talk to him about that, right? Hmm. But anyway, we're very proud to learn that they had a little girl today. So congratulations to Kyle and his wife. We're, we're glad to hear that. Hey, look at there. Let's weigh this oh banana nut bread. Oh my goodness, you want me to hold that for you? Okay, girl? let me think. His fish are 12 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Just think what two loaves would have done. <laughs> would have been a check. 
All right, one fish. This is a team of Kidwell and Carpenter and Kidwell. One, three, eight for the one. I got him on the board, guys. Good job. Well, he promised me some homemade banana nut bread last night, but I really thought he would have to sample more of it and I'd never see it. I appreciate that, fella. No Good problem. Day, guys. Good, <laughs> luck Good luck tomorrow, man. Thank y'all. We got one fish. We right. marked a world of fish. We just can't get them to bite. We always try to learn something from one day to the next. We'll try something different tomorrow, different colors, different depths or whatever. Next team up, one of our local teams from Calvert City, Austin Brown and his partner, Charlie Coy from Grand River. 959, guys. Good box of fish, man. A couple of them I was wondering about right there. They snuck up on me. This is the brother team of Tony and Mike Shepard. They're from Dexter at Kirksey, Kentucky. 881, right up there, man. Have you got a big one to check? No. All right, nothing over one nine? All right. Uh, we Really, we struggled just getting our fish to bite. Uh, we, we found some fish during the week and went back there today and fished. And they just wouldn't bite. I mean, we, we tried about everything we had at them, and they just some days it's like that for you. No, you just got to stay, you know, even though you're struggling, you know you're struggling, you just got to keep thinking next pile is going to be it. You know, you just keep hammering and hammering and hope you have, you know, 10, 11 pounds at the end of the day. And uh, one thing we did learn, the, the harvest moon ain't for crappie. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks, we're back with you, and the next team headed to the scale is the team of Harris and Teeter. They're from Clarksville and Adams, Tennessee. Come on up, guys. Robert just set them right on there. Come right in here with me. Okay, I'll take that for you. And here's your weight. Nice weight. 762. Boy, that's got you in the hunt. Good job, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Let me Thank give you your copies. Much. Here's your copies. Give them a hand one more time. Harrison Teeter. This team of Outlaw and McGregor. They're from Gilbertsville in Benton, Kentucky. Can you help out of Michael today? He was the only person who did the help. Oh, I see. <laughs> hey, that's a nice box of fish, guys. 766. 766. And then just right back behind the table, and we'll get a couple of shots. That'll work. I'll take it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh huh. We done. Every team's accounted for. Folks, we're going to be right back with you tomorrow afternoon. But let me tell you before you leave exactly who's in the lead at this time. We've got some great fish weighed in today. There's no doubt about it. The team in the hot seats right there. They held on to them for the last 30 minutes or more. That's the team of Salyers and Lovett. They're your reigning 2019 Classic Champions in Crappie USA. They're leading on the pro side with 10.30. In second, Anderson and Johnston with 988. Third, Ferguson and Finley with 983. Fourth, Brown and Coy with 959. Fifth, Shepard and Shepard with 881. That's your five places leading on the pro side. On the amateur side, the team of Outland and McGregor with 766. In second, Harris and Teeter with 762. Third, Ward and Miller, 676. Fourth, Craig and Levering, 507. And fifth place, one man team, Larry Hill with 342. Leading on the big fish, and we'll pay two big fish places tomorrow, is a team of Anderson Johnson with a 206 and Sawyers and Lovett with a 197. That's where we are today. Join us again tomorrow for day two of the Crappie USA event here on North Barkley Lake. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time on the water with Crappie USA. Like and subscribe to our YouTube to see more episodes and stay updated on Crappie USA TV. This week's episode of Crappie USA is brought to you by The Bass Tank. Check us out at thebasstank.com.